superstar. He is an absolute superstar, Tom Mitchell. Crips at the back. Crips is too good. Neil, 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 yes! Oh, how good was that? Ball magnets, exciting times. Our version of the grand final recall is now ready for all of you guys to watch. Essentially, how it's going to work is we've recalled the whole grand final. The first quarter with Oleg Markov, the second with Jack Crisp, the third with Braden the Bras Maynard, and the fourth we have a special guest. Um, Darcy Cameron may even get a gig at some point. Uh, but just some things we wanted to let you guys know about is that there will be some restrictions on the YouTube video. Uh, we can't actually play all of the game footage whilst uh, you guys are reacting to our reactions to the game, whether it be emotional, strategy, psychology of the game. But um, yeah, the best thing about this video will be that we're actually watching the whole game. You may have seen on Fox Footy and things where they do a shortened version, but this will be the whole game. So for those footy lovers out there, I hope you like this one. Cheers. Also guys, there is one point I forgot to mention, and that is that there will be a countdown clock in the top left-hand corner of the video so that you can watch the grand final as you watch our reactions as well. So you may do this on another screen, but that's just the best way to do it. So enjoy. All right, Leggy, we're recapping the first quarter of the grand final here. Yep. So you started on the ground. Yeah. What were you just saying off air before? You were saying that you yeah. started every single game on the bench except the granny. Yeah. And you played how many games? 23 games this year. 20, yeah, 22, 23. Um, I only started on the field, I think, against the Suns. And there might have been another game, like, but I feel like well, I might have just done that to ease the nerves or whatever it was. Mm. But yeah, I feel like because we had a we had a different look to our um, defence, I got to start on the field, which was pretty cool. How good's that? Yeah. It's almost good in a in a big game or a granny just to get moving and get into the game. Yeah, just and, and not have to run sit those and, nerves off. Yeah. Meanwhile, I was I think I was oh, I was on the pine. I started on the pine. Oh. Although there is benefits of both. I feel like when you start on the bench, everyone goes so hard that first five. Yeah. They, that you can come on pretty fresh. Yeah. And get involved pretty quickly. Leggy spoil. Leggy spoil. Elite. Yep. And then I was back in there. <laughs> See my little legs. I'm trying to pick Howie up. Look at me. Grabbing him. Get up. Good teammate. Number 37. What about your warm up top? Was the only player that didn't have a last name. Fallen off. So yeah. you were a no name player for the day. Yeah. Which I kind of liked. Um, that's the. There he is. There's Leggy. One. Good to get an early one. Yeah, and then go. I was going, I was going again. <laughs> but that's 37.4 Ks right there. Oh, and here I here. go. Yep. Mate, there, you there you go. Yeah. You started elite. We're one minute in. I've got two touches. So I should. Well, you're currently the Norm Smith medalist. I am currently. It's, it's funny you say that. When I was on the bench, I'll, I'll let you know what I was thinking. Is that, that later in the quarter? Yep, yep. Ram Chai's. That would have been a nice clunk for Chai's. Yeah. Yeah, so pre-game, you were so relaxed. I remember you talking about... And so, like, to be honest, I'm, we all I was were. so relaxed as yeah, well. Yeah, I felt confident. Confident, but knowing we'd done the work. But I was almost the most calm I've ever been in a game, which is a weird thing to say for a granny. Yeah. How yeah. good was it? Like, you've, you've talked about it before, but it's the one day of the week, your grand final week, that's normal. Yeah. Because you know your routine and you just go and do that. Yeah, there was no extra media commitments, no parade, no nothing. It was just you wake up and you prepare for a footy game. You get to footy and then it's the it's the same sort of yeah, you are just back to normality. It's it's bloody awesome. Yeah. Murph. So how much did that affect the back line when Murph went down in the second? Like what adjustments did you guys have to make? I was trying to get shorts off him here. What what was I thinking? <laughs> but I opened up that hole. You're welcome there, Crisp. Um <laughs> nah, look, I think I think for me when Murph went down, um, it's just it's harder for me to see one of your best mates in yeah. the state that he was. Yeah. Um, first thing that went to my head was I hope he's okay, and but I had full confidence. Whatever we tried to do throughout that day, we would get the job done. Like we we could throw here he is Billy Frampton. We could throw him down back. We had Will Hoskin, only Mister Fix It. He could al always do things. We trialed Josh Dacos back there. Nick could have gone back. Like we had a lot of different avenues mm. that we could have looked at. Um, Crispy went back. Yeah, so good flexibility. Like, yeah, we, Crispy we actually played a bit of wing on the day as well, which was different. Yeah. So, I mean, we, I feel like we, we've just we've got things that we can just fix just like that. Oh, well, that was going to be a free kick. Well, we only responds to being called Normie now, just so you know. I know. Yeah. He, he's booked a few booths at <laughs> places and he's, he's obviously said, use Normie at the Norm, door. Norm, Norm Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. I He's had nothing, for nothing short. 
I don't think you can see this, but um, Nick, when he gets really confident, he does little signals, like yeah. pre-goal, like he, he, he gives you a little cheeky, like two fingers like that. Did he do it on this occasion? No, I don't think he did. I think he's a bit nervous. No, but, but um, he's also done that in big games from long distance. He's yeah. given the, the all clear from 50 out on like a big game. I, th- I think he's done that maybe the port game when it was wet. He, he looked at me and he went, and I remember going, <laughs> just go back and kick it. <laughs> we can celebrate later. That's just how much confidence he must have in his ability. Oh, we've, didn't even look we've like got the confidence him. in him too. I feel like, have you ever yelled like the way Nick yelled then? Where uh, you just yell like, yeah, you're real stiffy. Out. Yeah, have you Maybe ever done a handful that? Of, I don't keep many goals, but a I, handful of times. I've, I've done that before after a goal and felt really lightheaded. Really? So I try and never do that again. You try and just chill. Just pump. Imagine you just collapse up. What was your celebration, your goal against the Suns from 50? That was a good one. And I was just like, <laughs> double, double Cobra. Cop that. Was that your only one for the year? Yep, only one for the year. Listen to the chant in the background. Already. I think the Magpie Army knew. I love, I love, I love how they, one, feed off us, but two, we feed off them. And yeah. they just, they also know us well enough when we need a kick. 100%. They, they get behind us. It's spoken about a lot, isn't it? But we can't win these games without them. Nah, nah. We've got one hell of a fan base. Oh, I've just come on for the first time here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you are. Yeah, Tishy, that's not. Titch! That's ball. Thoughts? It would have been nice. I don't <laughs> think so, though. Bozo. Look at that. Good play. Here he is, Normie. So the kick out of the norm right here. See, I love how the boys run to Bo there. Do you see mm, yeah, everyone? That. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? That togetherness, connection. It's easy to go to the person who gets the lick of the ice cream, but yeah, the person so who purchases the ice cream. Yeah, you've got to thank them. You've got to thank them, you gotta thank them don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the cookies and cream. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's pretty good celebrator too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like he, he knows what he's going to do beforehand. He is it pre-planned, is it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. But his raw emotion too, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember starting this hot. I don't remember being, uh, yeah. Two, two up, yeah. I don't remember being two goals up. I just remember their first goal going, whoa. We couldn't stop that. I feel like we started really hard. Zach Bailey kicked some freakish goals that, early. That, that one, yeah, the throw in. Yeah. So what are you saying right now as a backs group? I know what we're doing in the midfield, but as a, as a backs group. There he is, Titchy. Sorry. <laughs> Titchy. The wombat. The wombat. <laughs> Scrapping. I um yeah I guess as a back group when when we get goals and again we've we started with the ball sort of like a few re-entries and then we've gone through a center bounce and some ball movement that we haven't seen the ball it's almost like a right um ball's going to come to us like let's get ready it's it's yeah. coming to us regardless of what you think's going to happen or how dominant we are it's coming yeah. to us like it's always like a react sort of thing yeah it's it's almost like the the cricket saying walk it in with the bowler like it's coming to us be ready for it yeah um and it just puts us on the front foot rather than defending from behind or whatever it may be but yeah. oh <laughs> you remember much about the heat on the day it was hot yeah yeah it was hot so i remember hot. As well, like I know we're not watching the second quarter, but halfway through the second to sort of the end of like half time, it got so hot that I thought I was just going to start cramping. Like, well, mm. I, was, I was so cooked. Yeah. I felt like everyone was cooked. Yeah. No, it, it was one of the most exhausting games, I thought. Is that higher? Yeah, know. look, look, I mean, the best thing I tell umpires is we, we're going to keep encouraging you. You're going to make mistakes too. You're only human. But yeah, yeah it that's, must that's, be. I think that's an honest mistake from the umpire. I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, it's the hardest job on the field. Yeah. You're never going to have everyone happy. No. Nah. You're going to be, yeah, have people yelling at you either way. It must be so tough to be an umpire. And they do, you know. They do a good job. I'm not sure if, it, if I heard it from Leper or not, but has he kicked this? No, he doesn't. No. Oh, 
good centering ball. Um, I'm not sure if it was Leper who, when he had the break from Richmond to Collingwood, he went into something with the AFL. Might have been rules and regulations. Was and he that? working? I think as so. Like a consultant there in terms of helping with game plan changing and strategy and things, rules yeah. to make the game move better or whatever it was. Yeah. yeah. And um, he spoke about potentially 10 to 20 years ago, the rule book being like three pages and now it's over 80. So it's like on the day how certain people interpret things and, you know, like I can't imagine what they're probably going through and everyone's got their own image on mm. what the protected area looks like, what stand means and, you know, like. It is one of the most unique games, isn't it? Yeah, and it's one that constantly is changing. Well, what are you doing here? Pointing. I'm, uh, I'm pointing to where I'm going to kick it. And then I'm kicking it there. <laughs> no, I just wanted to give some predictability to up the field and then hopefully wow. you know, it's handy when you get the, one of your best players in that spot as well, just to give him <laughs> some predictability. Yeah. Coleman had a really good first half. I'm not sure you remember that. He yeah. got a great kick. Nice Howie. So you're coming off soon. Your yeah, rotation. well, to be honest, no, we've, we've only seen two of the touches. I think it might be a bit later. It might be at, at, at the quarter break because I remember starting off in the second. second quarter. So I'll run you through what I was thinking then, but... Yeah. Or when we sort of get closer to the end. Yeah. What other memories do you have from within the game itself? Like whether it be in a broader sense across the game, in this quarter, any like more holistic memories? I remember this goal. I oh, know. Yeah, there's one coming soon, I think, for them. From this little area. Um, there we go. High five. At a boy, Howie. AFL one for high fives. Yeah, AFL one for high five. Um, yeah, AFL one for high five. AFL one for celebrating. Yeah. But also... That's a great goal. Yeah. Wow. You know it wasn't spinning well at all. It wasn't. It was He's kicked it inside out and it's... Yeah. Yeah, wow. And I felt like we had so much domination for the first seven minutes there and then they kick bad. It almost deflates it a little bit. It does, doesn't it? Because you go, oh, wow, they're within six points. Yeah. He kicks another this quarter. Another freakish one where he shrugs a few tackles on the boundary. Oh, yeah. The, from that same yeah. pocket. Yeah. On his right. Did they compare that to the Dagoe one a few years ago? Yeah. <sighs> Whose fault's that, Titch? I'm going to uh, oh. point the finger at. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, you know let's, just, let's just say it's a whole midfield issue. Yeah. Normally we have a, a, an inside midfielder on the inside and an outside player on the outside. Um, we clearly a set play from them to in their forward 50, which most, most teams have. Now your sweeper there. Owning the pie. Owning the pie, correct. Look at that. Oh, we want to forget you in a few centre yeah, bounces. No, no, no. I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I love falling on top of piles. <laughs> so you're just jumping on? <laughs> yeah. Laying a knee, laying a knee. They've been good at letting the game go. I think the umpires with that sort of stuff as well. Yeah. Like identifying, yep. like we're all guilty of it at times when you're sort of, good work, leg man. Yeah, no, no. S stay with no. Bruzzy. I was having a laugh no, here. having a laugh. Oh, <laughs> I copped a little whack there as well. Oh, the back's looking after each other. It's elite. Yeah, yeah. You don't like seeing Bruzzy on the floor and I know he would stand up for me, so. Yeah, well, he's um, the best at it. Yeah. Do you have like a matchup down there or you sort of play, oh, like we, you're a high back obviously. Do you, yeah. Like what do you, um, I find that we do it so, so well at – that was an incredible mark. We do it so, so well at Collingwood where we, we talk about having like a – almost like a bit of a batting order. So it doesn't matter who you play on. So if there's a key position player who's playing up the field, he'll play on a smaller defender, a okay. higher back. Yeah. Um, and it's more so just we feel more comfortable being – higher up the ground yeah. and we'll leave, you know, your Nathan Murphy's, Darcy Moore, Darcy Moore's, Jeremy Harry's. Howe potentially deep because that's where they feel most comfortable and yeah. that's where they can play on tall or small. I can only imagine that would be, you know, I've never played back, but that would be my most vulnerable position. If I'd feel more One comfortable up deep. the field, yeah. yeah. And it gives you a chance to play to your strengths as well. Strengths, yeah. I, I get involved in chains. Um, 
But at the same time, I also think, like, if I was to make a mistake or get outmarked on a key position player on the wing, it's less damaging than if, yep. I, if that was to happen deep. So yeah, It's more exposed, isn't it? Yeah. It's amplified as a back. It is harder. Yeah. So like I, A little mistake for you guys as a goal. A mistake as a forward is not really a big deal. It's, nah. not, it's not remembered. Here it is. Oh, I remember just streaming back and then look at this. Everyone's calling for it short and I just went, no, nah, we'll go there. <laughs> we'll Don't skip, move, we'll boat. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want it? Chess? No worries. <laughs> I, um, yeah, that was that, a good take. Yeah, well, I, I remember I was just running back corridor going, they're out here and then the ball got duffed or he must have missed kicked it and it sort of was within my reach. Mm. And then once I just know the moment I mark it, we'll open, like start wheeling to the open side. That's all of our spaces, or at least have a look there. Yeah, and we had players lined up. Yeah, and that's where you get your bows and your bobbies and itchy. I find as well, like the, especially today, this grand final, we, we were able to use our space. Um, Murph burns me here. <laughs> give it to the leg like, man. Give it get, to me, let me run. Give it to your users. <laughs> Do you tell him? Uh, no, 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 because he hit the kick. True. <laughs> but um, I feel like Bobby, you know, Bobby got rewarded today on this day. Oh, Bo And Bo was close there again. See, and I thought he was going to kick this too. Yeah. Um, because we use the open side. Yeah. And, and a lot of the times we sometimes play skinny and, you know, we play what the opposition gives us. And at times the ground is skinny. But... On today, we, we use the open side and Bobby gets rewarded for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you'd hate to play on him one-on-one -on -one in space, wouldn't nah. you? But all those guys, they're so quick. Yeah, You wouldn't 100%. know playing on him at training. Like, it must be... And then you add Schultz in the mix this year. Oh, yeah, shooter. Like it's going to be dangerous. There I go, leggy and, again. Mate, you're on fire this first quarter. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm going well. <laughs> you know what you do later in this quarter? I must be coming soon. One of my... Memories of this quarter is you lay a t tackle in the middle of the ground, which leads to Checkers' goal from the boundary. And oh. it's one of those little acts that everyone remembers Checkers' goal, but you lay a massive tackle in the middle and what starts the intercept play. Well, hopefully it was on someone big, but yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> we'll see. I, I, yeah, I don't remember it. Do you remember it? No, I, yeah. I, I don't, yeah. It'll be coming. It was a bit of a blur. I'm glad I've had that imprint on you. Yeah, if, um, I've just pumped up your tyres massively. Now you can't wait to watch it. Normally you, get <laughs> yeah. the, normally you get the jitters when you're watching footy. Now you're excited. Now I'm actually excited. <laughs> Jamie, would you would um, it'd be the one player that you'd late in a late in a game you'd want the ball in his hand. Done it like, so many times, hasn't he? It's so funny. Kick it for your life. Who 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 would you who would be your top three at, top, at our club? Or just in general, ever. Because I reckon he's, he's potentially for, in the for top. goal? Yeah. All right. Um, I'd probably put Geordie. Yeah. If we're doing our team, I'd probably go Geordie, Jamie. Howie? Probably Nick. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Pendles would be clutch, though. Or maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like as well, when, when you touch on Pendles... The, someone was saying he's not a very good set shot, but I feel like when you need a goal, he's the most reliable. Like that third quarter where we were peppering the goals but we couldn't score, mm. and then Bobby passed it off to he him. Slotted it, yeah. He just slotted it. And I had no, no, nothing was sure than he was going to go back and kick he it. Kicked that, yeah. 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 In terms of field kicks, Josh Dacos... Incredible. One of the best field kicks I've ever seen. Both feet. Him and Nick. But oh, Josh's kicking is unbelievable. Mm. I find that he does a really good one where he, he's able to move the ball offline without giving it away. Yeah. If, if I need to go offline, I almost have to like... Run and face that direction. Like cut and then go. Titchy, handball. I should have probably gone inside there. Well, That's okay. Um, Plays into their hands a bit. But yeah, he's able to precisionly kick a good ball across his body and he changes lanes and opens the game up. You know what else he can do? He can kick the ball inside out. There's the last kick of the game in the prelim. Mm. Have you seen oh, that footage yeah. that's on replay to the club? Yeah. yeah, he, so yeah. Jamie kicks it up wide. We need to ice the game. He turns a player inside out and then kicks it inside out about 45, 50 metres and laces out Will Hoskin-Elliott. Leggy! Tackle. 
that's ball if I've ever seen ball. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look how angry I get here. <laughs> I'm trying to put. I'm trying to get get off me. You weren't happy. You're what? still going. I was like, hey, mate, are you, are you watching the same game I am? Mate, you could have sealed the norm up right there if you, if you got that free kick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Again. Could be a goldfish. Move on. I get, yeah. Again, umpires are only human. They make mistakes too. <laughs> We've got to keep encouraging them. <laughs> <laughs> I said that to Ray once and he looked at me and he gave me like these dead eyes. Like, he didn't like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough as oh, well. Ray's enough, yeah. Is that a goal? See, and if it was holding the ball, oh. <laughs> Being out forward oh, line, Bobby, God. kick goal. That's oh, a pretty, yeah. see, that's a pretty special goal as well. That it's was an, a very I don't even goal. remember that, but that's an elite goal. Yeah, yeah. Straight out of the front of stoppage. Yeah. I feel like they've got a lot of a lot of um, powerful weapons of like every, in every part of their like every line they've, they've got, got stars. They've got some really, really quality players. Yeah. I think their strength is their small forwards. Yeah. You look at sort of like I'm gonna miss one, I'm sure, but Charlie Cameron, Rayner, McCarthy, there's another couple. But also the people that go through there, like Devin Smith goes through there. He's pretty handy Bailey, himself. Zach Bailey. Zach Bailey goes through there. Uh, yeah, that's it. Zorko played through there. Zorko. Yeah. Yeah, they're very dangerous players. Just like that. And I feel like we've been on top in this quarter. And Yeah, that's what it feels like. I remember I was on here. That's a good press from Geordie. He started the centre bounce mm. and ends up inside forward 50 putting pressure on. It's pretty elite. Yeah. See, on the day, I think statistically it wasn't his biggest day. Like, he still kicks two clutch goals, massive impact. Pressure. His pressure. Yeah, he stood out. I thought so too. Like, his prelim was unbelievable. Like, he had his, you use the term, lick of the ice cream. He had oh, that was clearances. Yeah. One of the best games individually. And then, oh, oh Nick thought he broke geez, his leg there. bad. The boys said that they heard a massive clunk. You saw Pendles looking at him down there. They thought that he, they'd heard like a snap in his leg, but he's all right, obviously. Oh, wow. I didn't see that on the day. I was probably setting up defensively. Yeah, Jordy. Just a bull, isn't he? My goodness. I get a mark here. I th oh, no. Oh, no, I was. <laughs> there was one that got called back and I marked it. See, look at this. Oh. Oh, that could have been bad. Yeah. You never like saying those sort of ones, do you? Oh, not even to your worst enemy. Is Nick oh. your worst enemy? <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you goose. Uh. You don't need a long neck to be a goose. <laughs> here I go. Does Leggy get it here? No, Bruzzy goes on to his left. Oh, I remember that one. <sighs> oh, we're that so nice. close, aren't we? Yeah, we have had a lot of play. Um, but Brisbane have just taken their chances as well. Very good team at controlling the ball, kick mark. Yeah. I feel like they've always been a, quite a skillful team. Yeah. Oh, here, here's a fun fact for you, and I didn't know this until after the game, but I've n I have never beat Brisbane. So I've played them seven times before the grand final. Zero and seven. Is that right? And I think something someone said to be an average losing margin of 40-something points. Did you know that pregame? I didn't know that pregame, but I knew that I'd – Obviously, Q clashes um, yep. at Richmond. I've never beaten them. Leggy, oh, I was going to have that from you too. How does that make you feel when Murph comes over and gives you a chop out like that? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I was going to mark. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I um, no, again, it. like it, it's one of those things where you you just fight, you battle, and you just have trust that someone's going to help you. And when it does happen like that, you you're only so thankful and grateful, and you go, wow, like that's sick. Like I've got your back next time too. Especially back with the flight. Yeah. 100%. You guys look after each other so well back there. Now you're a tackling machine this quarter. Look at you. No, no, no. I was, I was in there. I'm going to check your stats from quarter one. Yep. Have, have a look quarter one. Because I reckon I, this is where I'll probably come off soon. Or teach you <laughs> groundwork. <laughs> Great kick. I remember Guinea here. I was screaming for it here. Inside? We inside. On the inside, yep. Were you on? I was on. It's called the trailer. The trailer was on. Yeah. Um, just trying to find these. Yeah, here we go. There's another ball magnet. Lockie Neal, yeah. Yep, Lockie Neal. Magnet. Me, Lockie, Cripper. Leggy. Crip, yeah, Leggy. <laughs> Leggy to me. <laughs> well, yeah, it was 
there was always going to be a couple of the ball magnets in the granny. Carlton, obviously, Carlton v Brisbane. It was going to be one yeah. of them. So yeah. Carlton got pretty close. Huge. All right, Leggy, here you go. Yeah. So you had... Okay. Six? You had, it says you had four in the first quarter, but three marks and two tackles. They had a lot of impact. Four? They've missed a couple on you, I reckon. I reckon we've I seen re you have five at least. Yeah. Oh, well, I've been, they've been impactful. Should we make a call just to double I reckon I might give them a call. Oh, it might have been the first half that I was saying that. Yeah. I remember I started so well because cause this is where I'm getting at because it might have been the first break. So I might have had the four and I've come off here and whether it was marks or something, I remember sitting on the bench looking up and going, wow, I'm leading. Oh, is that right? Yeah, one, one of the things. I don't. It must not be disposals then. Cause I, it I, must have been tackles maybe. Yeah, it might have been tackles potentially. And, um, and I remember going, oh, I remember this. I think I come flying in here soon too. There's Titchy. <laughs> I remember Bailey running into Will Hoxton earlier. Yeah. And hearing like a big clunk. Like they either clashed heads or Will's shoulder. I thought someone had popped something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the boys sort of came from everywhere. I hate when people grab you from the back. Like when they're, when they're like, because when they grab you from the back, you get this rope burn here, like jersey burn. I don't wrestle enough to know that. Oh, uh, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like I love a good tussle and a good wrestle, <laughs> but I'm always at the worst, like, bit of it. Um, Is that the Belarus in you that you like to have a bit of a wrestle? Oh, I know when we have a few bottles of vodka and <laughs> we're a bit, bit drunk, we, we end up <laughs> trying to be end like, up wrestling. yeah, Chimaev and <laughs> yeah. Khabib and that. We try and be, wow, I love that. See, I love when we get into battles like that. Yeah, what's the? We the boys are very good at sticking up for each other. Oh, That's pretty tough. From, oh shit, man! No, mate, your tackling has been elite. I don't reckon they counted that because they blew the whistle. Yeah, yeah, no, I was there. Yeah. So you were right near there. So what were you thinking now? <sighs> I I remember like because because Murph, um, I was in the background there. I sort of didn't want to go over because I did see him throw up a little bit. Oh, did he? Yeah, I'm not sure if whether he threw up or he was just spitting, but I just remembered. When you see your friend like that in, in that state, I was like, oh no, like, and the and the worst part was I was I was playing on on um, McCarthy, so Lincoln, and I know him through Jordan Murdoch. He spent time at Geelong. Yep, Lincoln. Yeah, yep. and um, it's always and a good sign when they run off like this, though, Murph. Like he's yeah, running off. Yeah, hundred percent. As days as he is, seeing him run off is great. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd obviously known Lincoln before and he, he was like to me the whole time, he was quite remorseful because I did nothing wrong. I, didn't, I go, yeah, you know, it's, a, it's an accident, it happens. Um, yeah, and knowing the type of person he was, I was like, there was no malice behind it. Mm. Um, it's just, it's unlucky that this sort of stuff happens. But then yeah. at the same time now I'm going, all right, who are we getting back? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I love when Cox gets in these moods. When he's got that. When he's beating uh, the chest. Yeah, he's got that. Strata, no. Yeah. I, remember, actually, I remember playing against it. I hated it it's so been, much. It's, it's when he plays his best. Yeah, he's got that confidence about him, and 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 I think it's like this, like this arrogant confidence style. But it just he just blossoms because he can take like a game that. over when he's on. Hundred percent, he can. I love when he walks around strutting his stuff and that. <laughs> oh, it's grown on me so Has much because because yeah. I know I can never do that. No, but you're on side. I, yeah, but I love when he when he goes about it like that. He actually is. He doesn't kick this, but he is normally a very accurate set shot. Mm. Kicked one against the Giants late in the game in the prelim. The was that what? No, nah, that wasn't that. Oh, was it? <laughs> that was it, that was against the Giants earlier in the year. Because that was outside fifty. Yeah, it was too. Um, no, in the prelim to I think give us the lead. Uh, here's a funny story, and and it's obviously known around the club. Um, Mason Cox introduced me to football. Um, are you what? not aware of this? What? Yeah, so so you know how everyone has that well, like the um, the welcome to AFL moment and that. Oh, I, um, yeah. Sorry. It, it, yeah, I'm it, with you. Yeah, it, it wasn't really like a. I didn't. I, it wasn't me getting crunched or anything because like that footage of Jack Watts when he first draft pick comes yeah. in gets tackled by ten people. So that's his welcome to the AFL. Yeah, moment. like yeah, but yeah. for me, so I would have been in my. <laughs> 
gosh, made my twentieth game. So yeah. I'm, I'm I'm in the system for four years or something. Um, You're the Tigers at this point. I was at the Tigers, and Jordy Degoe takes this incredible hanger on me, like. Full step ladder and that. Grimes, he calls me and being like a pretty young you're kid. You're good, I'm like, leggy. Yeah, you're good, you're good. And I remember going up, going, yep, I've got an intercept mark. Doesn't happen very often. And I just remember going from here and I felt pressure in my back. And I was facing down. I was looking at the grass. And then when I landed, all this stuff happened around me. And I look up and Geordie's walking off with the ball under his arm. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he's marked it. And the whole crowd was up and about. The whole Collingwood like, army was uh, all against me. And I was like, this is so stupid, blah, blah, blah. And as I'm walking off, um, he snaps and kicks this goal. Everyone got to Geordie. Mason ran over to me, bumps me and goes, welcome to the AFL, body, <laughs> and runs off. And I remember oh, going, who is part- this goose? And then I looked at my teammates and Grimesy, David, all that were just like... Phew. You don't know. <laughs> just That's like, so funny. Bring it you in. might have played more games than him by that point. <laughs> I, I might have. Oh yeah, I might have played a few more games by then. But uh, he's oh, he's great. he's done well. I'm I'm really proud. So he's of, got a cool story with Fly journey. as well. Like I feel like yeah. your connection with Fly is right up there through sharing the Richmond VFL Premiership. But, but yeah, Fly taught him to kick. Fly taught him how to kick. Yeah. <laughs> So Fly was a development coach before he was at Richmond at Collingwood, and that's when Coxie was first brought over just to trial AFL. I'd never touched an AFL ball and Fly taught him the rules and how to kick. So, so impressive. So story goes back to his very beginning. I think I think Fly used to show us videos of Mason kicking because when he, when he debuted, Fly was pretty proud of it. And I remember being at Richmond and um, he showed me footage of Mason like in a garden in Europe somewhere. And they must have been um, teaching each other. Or this his- is the one I talk about, Leggy, that tackle. Oh. So you intercept that there. They were out. They had a forward handball to Bailey there. And we get a goal out of this. So we pretty much won the grand final because of you. Oh, wow. And just a quick one. Cam Rayner, he'd be 85, <laughs> 90 kilos. He's a big boy. <laughs> What's a leg, man? He's <laughs> <laughs> about 80 on a good day, on a yeah, wet day. <laughs> that's a, on a very good day. <laughs> but, yeah, I remember. So there you go. So there was another tackle. I um. So, yeah, I thought, and he, here's a life lesson to everyone. Um, I came off. At quarter time, I saw my name was maybe first for tackles, potentially in the top two for marks. And I sat on the bench and I looked up at it and was like, oh, yeah, Normie's mine. <laughs> I started practising the speech. And uh, oh. and, uh, <laughs> and then gonna... after this quarter, I didn't touch the ball. So, like, I would have touched it too. Look at that tackle. Pinned an arm. He still gets out. You know what? That was great. Um, I had the best view of that. Goal. I was oh, right behind it. You know wow. snaps when they normally curve? You could just watch. He kicked that straight, like punt over punt, and it went straight. Didn't curve. Oh, like a top spinner. Top, he kicked a top spinner. A Rafael Nadal. Yeah, <laughs> bit of bounce on it. But, yeah, so life lesson to everyone, don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh. Well, you, yeah, yeah still, I'm, I'm there. I'm, there. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my thing. Another tackle. Man, I reckon you've had five tackles, but they haven't. They've given you two. Yeah. How calm is Fly on the bench, which just helps us so much. I love it. I love how he's not an emotional coach. Like, yeah. and I love Leper so much, but I feel like Leper gets with the emotions of the game. So, so if smart. It's, so smart, though. They balance each other. You yeah, know? they like, balance each other. So, like, yeah, it's good that Leper's in the coach's box, but I can't, I can't imagine the amount of times he'd be yelling at my mistakes. But Fly's just so different in how calm he is. He knows what to say. You make a mistake, he just goes, right, wonder why I made a mistake. Let's get him back on the high horse. And he'll just, he, yeah, he just knows what to say at the right time. He, he gets his message across. Like there he was quite, obviously he's getting a message out on ground, so he's yelling out. But yeah. he gets his message across in a, in a calming tone, which I think is what you need on, <sighs> within, oh. what you need within a game because there's already enough emotion and enough yeah. going through your head. You know, certain guys, it's going to make them more agitated. Well, you think about anyone. If, if, if you were to make a mistake, you know what you've done wrong. If yeah. you've missed a kick, you don't need the person who you look up to say the same thing because it, it potentially goes the opposite way. Leggy's in there again. <laughs> <sighs> Man, I'm... Third person, Chuck, to be my favourite, to be honest. Like, kind of like when Braz calls himself the Braz. It's my favourite. I um, I've almost had the greatest quarter ever. Like, I'm in the screen a lot, but I just <laughs> don't, can't quite get it if I, maybe if i was a ball magnet yeah. at the moment i'm a ball repellent so you're, you're there not, i am again you're not on the books officially so you'd be converting them to possessions yeah good interception would have hit geordie up but instead it's a spoil 
So look what Geordie does here. This is super smart. So he knows that if he runs out to his right, they're going to be calling for play on so and what, the goal is going to be disallowed. He so he takes in. a little step. I'm not sure if you see it. He might do it before this, but he takes a little step. Then before that, when he went back on his line, takes a little step to his left or he walks in on his angle slightly to the left. Oh, there it so is, that, yeah. yeah. So that when he kicks there, he's not playing on, but he still gets the arc in his kick. Wow. But he's kicked it over hands from 55 and cleared it. That's an unbelievable kick. We, we had those moments. That's, that just tops our game off. But we – oh, look how serious I am. We You're had, looking um, good that day. You want to be looking good granny day. Yeah, had zinc on the nose. We, we capitalise on those moments. The, that we had obviously we had crispy, half-time. crispy halftime. Like we just had these moments at the very end of quarters where we just made the most. You, that if one of those is a point, it would, the game could look different. For sure. We go into we go into a group huddle with a different mindset. For sure. Um, yeah, huge. Ah, so special, mate. That was awesome to relive that with you. Yeah. Probably a, a great quarter to watch for you as well. It was yeah. awesome. So I thought I was winning the normie, but yeah. That's no, all right. It's cool. I'm, I don't often watch footy, so thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm glad that you didn't get the jitters, so that was good. Yeah. Oh. You should be at the top of that I list. should be there. <laughs>